to another video. Um, sorry it's been a while. I haven't been able to record a video in a while. I may be out of school because of this coronavirus. But, well, so, let me explain. So, since I'm out of school, my teachers are still giving us work through our school iPads. Yes, be jealous, I get school iPads. I'm sure most of you do too. But anyways, so for those of you that don't know what Super Mario Maker 2 is, it's um, this game where you get to make your own Mario Maker levels. And if you don't know what Mario is, I'm sorry, because he's just this plumber guy that saves Princess Peach. She's a princess, if you didn't know. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, um, there's Super Mario Maker and Super Mario Maker 2. And I've done a lot of levels on Super Mario Maker. But I finally got a Switch for Christmas. And I also got Super Mario Maker 2. And I only got three things from Santa. Which isn't a lot. But, I mean, all of these things cost a lot of money. So... Yeah, so what I'm just going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you some of my uploaded courses. I listed a ton of them that have three likes or more. So, yeah, the level code. I'm going to show you the level code on all the levels. Level code is, or course ID, sorry, <laughs> is right up there. And I'll just, whoa. <laughs> okay. And I'll put it in the link in the description as well. Okay. Um. Let's start off with Stroll on the Decks, Super Mario Bros. 3 style, airship theme, standard auto scroll. Let's start. So what I'll be doing is just showing you some of my levels that have three or more likes. And I don't know how to get this camera set up so that it's directly on the Switch. So if there's a little bit of a glare or something, it's because I'm using a camera that... I'm using a camera that I usually use to record videos, not on games though, or virtual games. And I'm just using a camera out here and I hook the switch up to my TV and that's all that I'm really doing. So sorry if the, there's a glare or it's a little fidgety, but I'm, I don't know how to get this my camera set up to the switch. So if you guys have any tips or know how to set like get YouTube videos on the, on your Switch, then let me know. Okay, let's head through this door and start. Dun, 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 dun. Find your flower! <laughs> Goodbye, Rocky Wrench. <laughs> we got a chain chomp right here. Oh, that was way too close. We got another... Okay. I love the custom auto scroll. I don't use it a lot in my levels, but it's really interesting. Because, like, in Super Mario Maker 1, you couldn't do that. But, yeah, the custom auto scroll is really cool because you can make it go at different speeds at different times. You can make the auto scroll go up and down or diagonal. So, yeah. Oh, speeding up. I'm not taking those coins. Whee! Fireball? Mushroom again. Useless. We've got a spiky right there. Oh wait, why did I even try and get him? There's no way I could get him. Got some red cannons. Hello there, red cannons. You'll never take me alive! Ah, oh, yay, the end. And you can tell that this is the end, because if you ever played Super Mario Bros. 3, or Super Mario Maker 2, or Super Mario Maker, then in Super Mario Bros. 3, this little black area is the end, because this is the end. Now, can we get a one-up Fireflower Star? Doesn't really matter, because it's Super Mario Maker 2. And, well, yeah, you, you, no. Okay, let's go. Star, yay. Course clear. The world record for this level is 1 minute and 15 seconds, 710 milliseconds. Okay. And there's the course ID again, if you want to pause the video and go check out this level for yourself. And now let's continue. Okay, so 
anyways, um, okay, so before I get to the next one, so if you have ever played Super Mario Maker 2, then you know that's all about building levels, and yeah, so you can see some of my levels that I haven't update, uploaded here. I want to show you this flying through the desert while I talk real quick. Don't move, just don't. Yeah, it's an auto school. So, what Super Mario Maker 2 is that you get to, if you, for the people that don't know what it is, is that you get to make your own levels in Super Mario, uh, so if you've seen a Super Mario game before, then you know about how there are different levels that you can play through. I'm trying to talk louder so the noise doesn't get too loud so you can't hear me. So when playing, so when you're playing Super Mario game, there's all the levels you have to go through, but in Super Mario Maker 2, you can take all the new items that they give you, because in Super Mario Maker 1, there are some things in Super Mario Maker 2 that don't exist in Super Mario Maker 1, like the new Super Mario 3D World theme. And, yeah, so... And so what you do is, like, you get to take blocks, put them down, make your own levels, and then if you get the, um, the course world, then you can play other people's levels, play against other people to see who can win, and you get to upload your own levels, which is what I'm doing. And here's some more of my levels, even though they're not uploaded. So, yeah, if you ever played Super Mario Maker 2, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, or if you haven't played Super Mario Maker 1, then you don't know what I'm talking about, so that's pretty much the best I can do to explain it. And, yeah, and if you don't know why I make levels, I mean, probably similar to if somebody watching else makes levels. Like, it's really fun to make levels and see other people play them, and whenever you play a Mario game, you get to pretty much make the Mario game come to life, and you get to decide how the levels go. And some levels can be super easy, and some can be harder. And Ground Pound All Day Long is one of those, like, if you've ever seen Super Mario Maker 2, and you've gone to, like, the courses and gone to the popular courses, you'll probably find one of these levels that are called, like, Refreshing Specials. And it's sort of where you, like, go through a pipe, you ground pound, just hold down, and a ton of crazy stuff happens around you. you go through another pipe. Some, A lot of times you get in a Koopa Clown car, which is this thing in Super Mario 3D World. It's this Koopa in a car, and if you kill the Koopa, you can get in the car, and you can like drive around, it's cool. And then you'll usually like go across a ton of boost pads, like kill a ton of enemies, because the Koopa Clown car is like super OP, and it can like kill almost anything. And it can even kill Boom Boom in one hit. Oh yeah, Boom Boom something new in Super Mario Maker 2. Anyways, I'm not going to play it for you, because if, because if you want to get the surprise of seeing what happens, you guys can check it out for yourself. The course ID is right over there, right above the comments. Ooh, I've got two comments. Let's see what they are. Seriously? Why would you say that? I didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I win, says the person that has a world record. Congratulations, Poison360. Anyways, on to the next one. The quiz. <laughs> so, if you've never seen the quiz levels on Super Mario Maker 1 or 2, then these are pretty much like, they can sometimes be like math problems, like 1 plus 1, or they could, or they can be like this one, where you take an enemy, like a shell mitt, and a, and a spiky, and then you put a plus symbol, or a spike block or something, and then you put a plus symbol next to them, and like what would spikes plus a shell mitt equal? Like a spiky shell mitt, which is actually an enemy. So if you wanna pause the video and try and figure this one out, a Yoshi plus a fire flower, 
what would that be? Um, if you want to pause the video and try and figure it out, you can. And if you already figured it out because I'm taking so long to choose one, then let's see if you're right. Is it a, is it a spiky? Or, yeah, spiky. Is it a superstar? Or is it a red Yoshi? Let's see who's right in the comments. Let me know below what you voted. But you could just say the right answer that I'm about to choose in the comments because I already chose it by the time you say it in the comments. I'm just going to stop talking. It. Chalking? <laughs> it's Red Yoshi. Yeah! So it's just like when you choose the wrong one, you fall down and die. Brutal quiz they have here. Man! Okay, so this is sort of the one I was talking about earlier. We got Shell Dude, Buzzy Beetle. How did I forget their names? Mm. 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 Yeah. 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 And plus the spiky block. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Jump or spiky dude that I also can't remember the name of. Sad. I'm sorry, spiky dude, that I can't remember your actual name. Jumping piranha plant or muncher. Let me know what you think. It's spiky dude. Yeah. Because like you've got, see those spiky things over there? They're spiky. And then you put spikes on the fuzzy beetle and it makes it spiky. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, you got it right here. Okay, so we got coin plus key. Let me know what you think it is below. Is it a key? Is it a coin? Or is it a key coin? We'll never know. Actually, you're gonna know right now. It's a key coin, yeah. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm free, yeah. Moving on to the next world. We got coin plus mushy. Mushroom, mushroom. Is it 10 coin or big coin? Is it one up? Or is it pokey? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Pause the video if you want to figure it out yourself. So, you've got a coin plus a mushroom. Well, if you see a Koopa and you take a mushroom, you put a mushroom on the Koopa, it makes it big. And in the maker mode, I'm not sure if you could take a mushroom and put it on a coin. But if you could, then it would make a big coin. Logic, people, logic. Yeah, chick mm. Okay, so now we got P-Switch plus a coin. So this is, so what this is doing here is pretty much just telling you what would a P-Switch do to a coin. No, no, it's not that, or that, or that, none of them. Anyways. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below or something. And if you want to try and figure it out, pause the video. Or if you've already figured it out, then you can. Is it a coin? Is it a block? Or one of those blocks that they look like in the heart or the brick blocks. But they look like this in Super Mario World. Or is it a cloud? Well, obviously it's a cloud. No, I'm just kidding. It's a brick block. Yeah. Through the door. Oh, I change up. Oh, that was close. Anyway, so you see here we've now got a minus. So we've got a big chain chomp minus a mushroom. So would it be small chain chomp, key coin, or cannon? Let me know what you think down below and if you've already figured it out. Um, good job. Let's see if you're right. So if you add a mushroom to a chain chomp, it's become it becomes big. But if you get rid of the mushroom, it becomes small, simple science. <clears throat> okay, so now we got a very, very hard one. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. Just kidding, it's Apple. No, nah, I'm just kidding. So we've got Clown Claw. Clown Claw? We got Clown Claw. We got Clown Car plus Fire Flower. What could that be, Red Koopa? fire clown car or fire thing fire suit or whatever it's called so you know how in mario rabbit fire flower he shoots fireballs well if a clown car if he well if he grabs fire flower it's just riding him 
inside of him. But if he, but if like he was Mario and if he touched a fire flower, he turned fire flower or fire Mario, then he turned into flyer. I'm messing up my words so much right now. He turned into fire Koopa Clown car. Okay, so now we've got the hardest one of them all. Oh, try and see if you can figure this out. Nothing plus nothing equals Paragoomba. Buzzy Beetle on the roof that is now a shell upside down spinning around. Or nothing. Let me know what you think down below. This is super hard, so I'm gonna have to take my time with this. It's nothing. Yeah! I know, I'm weird. Da 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 da. Okay, now for the hardest one of them all. So, yeah, we got 30 coin minus 10 coin. This isn't actually too hard, but might be for you. Depends, depends, depends. So we got 30 coin minus 10 coin minus 10 coin. Is it mushroom? Is it four coin? Is it 10 coin? Well, let me know what you think in the comments below or just pause the video. Oh no, shoot, I'm running out of time. Or pause the video and try and figure it out for yourself. I don't know why I've been talking weird this entire time. This is my actual voice right here. Hello, my name's Evan. That's yeah, pretty similar. Anyway, so just switch these big coins out for numbers. We've got 30 minus 10 minus 10. And if anybody knows math, you know that 30 minus 10 is 20, and 20 or 20 minus 10 is 10. And so we go big 10 coin. Yeah! Through the door, and then you have reached it. Is the end of the level. Now, if you want to play this level, even though you already know all the answers, you still can, because, like, why wouldn't I give you the level code? It's still a pretty cool level. And you can always, like, look through the courses to see any other quiz levels, because usually they're just called the quiz or something. Jungle one, or the jungle run, I really like it, but wasn't gonna show it because it didn't have three or more likes. So, sorry, jungle run. You will be missed. Okay, let's see what's up next. Ah, yes! Run, 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 run! run! That's what we got next. It's got it's a speed run. It's short and sweet. Three likes and 20 plays. The world record is five seconds, which is insane, but he's a three gold star. Oh, yeah, before we continue, let me talk about... So I've got the silver star. So if you don't know what the ninja speed runs are, they're like speed runs that Nintendo gives you. And... And, the, and if you can do it really quick, you get bronze star, silver star, and gold star. The gold star means you are able to do a course really quick, and it pretty much makes you a god. But as you can see, I only have the bronze star, which only has one star floating around me. But the last course, I got the silver star, so ha! But I have no evidence of that, so it's completely useless. At least I'm making a video to prove that I at least have one star. So, yeah. Anyways, back to my courses. Because I'm awesome, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. If I'm not awesome, you can say that, but. Anyways, that was weird. Anyways, now let's do run, 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 run. Loud noise coming. How fast are you? Well, blood fell for your blood fa 14 is really fast so let's just show you the level i gotta go quick because it's a 10 second speed run so yeah the lowest amount of time you can have go 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 ah! grab the hammer smash the dry gun get the key go through the Warp box, fly, and get to the game. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so here's the next course. The person with the world record is Geoffrey with 1 minute and 57 seconds and 983 milliseconds. Not many people have cleared it. Wow, it's got four likes, 25 plays. The course ID is right there. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry if you didn't see the course ID for... Run, 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 It's right up there. Give me 
a second to read it, or you can just pause the video. Okay, now let's head back down to Ghost of the Graveyard. Grave digging is the key. It's standard puzzle, puzzle, puzzle solve. Puzzle solve it. Oh, no, yeah. And this level we got, well, I got the idea from this YouTube video of things you might not have known of Super Mario Maker 2. I think that's what it's called. And in the video, they showed that if you put an enemy like on a hard block or something, or a star on top of a hard block, and then you use a bomb to blow up the hard block, you can go through a door, reset the room, and then a star will appear, but the blocks will no longer be there. Got one comment here. Great level design plus concept. Thank you, Geofree. Anyways, let's get into it. Now I want to play it, not go down there. Okay, let's start. Whew. I'm ready for, oh no, you can see me in the reflection of the TV. Ah, good, you can't see me anymore. Great level design, plus concept. Quickly blow up the grave! No! And I'm dying. Oh, that was quick. Okay, um, okay, this time you better do better. Forgot I still have the display comments on. I'll take them off for now. So, you see, you destroy the grave there, and then when you come back, boom! Dry bones there. Where did he come from? Well, we killed him, so it doesn't matter. And then we're out here, and then we need to find the mushroom. Which grave could it be in? Yeah, answer, it's in that one over there. Yep, mushroom, just like I said. And don't bother trying to cheese the level by heading over this way. There's really nothing you can do over there. Because as you see, there's a huge wall. Because if you put an entire wall of like ground, that goes to the roof and down. Oh shoot, this is good after me. That goes to the roof and back down. Just a full wall. It blocks off the screen from going past the wall so you can no longer see what's over on the other side of the wall, which indicates that it is a full wall and you cannot see past it. Okay, so what you need to do here is you've gotta blow up the graves and you've gotta find the dry bones and kill it, the one that has the key in it. And I think I might have to reset this because I think I might have destroyed the wrong grave because that grave also has a star in it because it has the star to kill the dry bones since, I mean, you could kill them with the big bomb bombs, but it's easier to do with a star. <laughs> ah, this ain't good. Ah. Oh no. Ah, okay, this is like the hardest part of the level. Woo! Boos are so annoying right now. Leave me alone! Ah! I died. Mwah. Sadness. You know what? Since I don't feel like doing this level, since it's really hard, well, not really, really hard, but it's a little bit hard, or maybe I'm just a noob at life. <laughs> Sadness. Oh, good. The level's right here. I'm just going to cheat, go into make, and go back to where I was, because, yeah, as you can see after this wall, it's a full wall, so you can't get over it, and that's where the end is, so no point in trying to cheese level, because you can't even get to this pipe, because it's surrounded by saws and an entire room. Okay, so which, ah, yes, it's this one. Time for cheating. Cheating is fun. Cause you're evil. It makes you an evil man. It makes you an evil person. How did that hit me? Oh my goodness, I'm already dead. And through the door to see it. That was the right grave. Was. I need is that star in it. Dang it! Get it! Get it! No! Ah. Come on! Oh, that was so lucky. Die. Man, that was close. 
So we go through the door, beat this, gotta wait for the bomb to explode. Oh my goodness, I just awoke Bowser from his grave. I don't know if you could hear what I said because I said it really loud in a high pitched voice and hard to hear. But what I said is. Smash Bowser! Ah, it's Bowser! That's what I said. Oh no, the hard part. Good thing I'm in maker mode and I can use damage boosting to beat this part. Damage boost through the ghost! Oh yeah! And that's the end. If you want to play the level for yourself, the level code is coming up soon. Um, soon, soon, coming up soon. No, I didn't. Ah, I pressed the wrong thing. Coming up in like three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, maybe a little bit longer, like five years, but. Five years later. Uh, ah, here we go. Okay, it's been five years, but I finally gave you the course ID. I'm pretty sure I, you already, sh I already, I already showed you it. But if I didn't, here you go. Yeah. Anyways, time for the next level: Mario and the Amusement Park. Park. <laughs> Don't forget your ticket at home. Got. The world record is 2 minutes 44 seconds. Of course, ID is right up there. It's got 4 likes, 39 plays. It's standard and theme. And let's get into it. Mario and the Amusement Park. Ticket. Hi, Ticket Loop Guy. Okay, I'm gonna go home now because I forgot my ticket. Goodbye. Ah, home sweet home, that I can walk on the walls of my house. Oh no, there's a giant hill preventing me from going anywhere. I live in a strange area. Yoshi! Oh, never mind, it's a key. And if that's something you didn't know about Super Mario Maker 2, it's that you can put keys in Yoshi eggs and pretty much nothing else. Keys in Yoshi eggs, and that's like it. For some reason, I thought that was a door. I'm gonna destroy the entire stick it stand by spinning. Yeah. Hey, you're breaking public property. Police? Oh shoot. Quickly, Mario, explore the, explore the place before the police get to you. Run! Oh wait, I'll escape on the roller coaster. Yeah. Roller coaster. Oh my goodness, it's raining cats and dogs. Almost literally, because there's no cats and dogs in this game. Well, the, the cats do it in 3D world, but that doesn't count. Ah, I didn't get rid of them. Yeah, I escaped on a roller coaster. Also, if you guys want to get a ton of coins, there's a secret place in this level that you can get a ton of coins at. Uh, so, the, yeah. This part is a little annoying because it's always a gamble to see which way the shelvet goes. Now I've got to start all over again. You never know. Ugh. Ugh, that shelvet is so annoying. I can't just go in Gresham. I want to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, give me the ticket. I'm sorry I forgot it. I need my power up. It's very delicious. I need my breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet. Mmm, delicious. Okay, ticket guy. I'm here to destroy your place again. Police, he's back. Oh no. Escape on the roller coaster again! Run, if you've never ran before, Mario! Or, well, you have ran before, but, well, you know what I mean. Ah, I'm so an idiot. I'd rather lose the fire flower, because this is 
Second part of the amusement park, yay. Okay, so let me explain this part of the ride. So, have you ever seen those, like, like, sort of like, they're sort of usually pirate ships that, like, sway back and forth? Well, this is it. And then, if you can't tell, this is the Ferris wheel. Wheel of Ferris. I don't know why it's called Ferris Wheel. Is it a Wheel of Ferris? Now for the annoying part. It's one of those like rolled ball games where you take a ball and you roll it down a path or something. And the correct path is shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I just lost one of my balls because I put it on my head. Dang it. Yeah. Anyways, right now, I want you to choose one of these, and I'll pretend that you were actually playing the level and you chose it, and if you, and if the one you chose was not the right one, then you would have failed, but you get three tries anyway, so I'll be telling you the right one in five, choose your answer, four, three, two, one, zero, I'm sort of running out of time, so... That one. Yep. Noise. Dang it. Man, I hit a perfect good shell too. I want my firefly. No, 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 no. Delicious. Oh, a smiley face. I eat smiley faces. <laughs> Oh yeah, and if you've ever been to SeaWorld before, this is like, um, the Sky Tower that they have. Yeah. Yeah, it was this thing blocking me from continuing to the amusement park. Oh, look at my shadow. Hmm. That's cool. Like how it's standing on the shadow of the pipe. Hmm, yeah, that's cool. Oh shoot, I'm running out of time. Oh my goodness, what is Bowser doing at the amusement park? I'm sure everybody that plays this level is asking that. But it's just a good old Bowser fight, nothing to worry about. He's probably here to kill us all, but yeah, you know, usual Bowser sings. Mario deals with it like every day. Stop jumping! It's the first time I want somebody to not jump. I'm annoyed when somebody jumps. Yes, run! No, no, no. Not fight delicious. Yeah, I beat Bowser because for some reason he was trying to kill me. I was just having a nice day at the amusement park. Oh, right, the cops still after me. Yeah, and yes, I beat the cops. Ha. Yeah. Meow! Oh, I didn't do the thing. Well, there's the course ID if you need it again. Yeah, let's move on okay, to the next so course. Next course is my very first course. Well, it's not my very first course. First. <clears throat> it's my very first course that had a lot of likes. It's got 11 likes, 91 plays. It still has the most plays out of all my levels. I don't know why. I guess it's sort of easy. It's sort of, I don't know. Just a little road trip. Anyways, so. I don't know why we put Auto Mario in the little description thing there, because it's not an Auto Mario, but it's short and sweet, and yeah, Super Starro has the world record of 50 seconds. Of course, ID is right there. Oh, I have three comments. I think I've looked at these, but still. Let's take a look. Do you have a little sister? Oh, yes. Yeah, I've seen these two. This was a weird one. But I've never seen, do you have a little sister? That's a new one. 
That's that's weird to ask. Um, anyways, moving on. Let's start the level. Oh yeah, and let's see where, because like it displays the comments in the levels. So let's turn on comments real quick to see where these people put on the comments. I know one person. Oh, what? yeah, the guy that drew the weird. Or I'm not sure if it's weird. I don't know what he did. But um, person that drew that rectangle thing. I'm sorry if I called your drawing weird. Um, but it's just the rectangle thing. So yeah, I mean it's not weird, but. If you are watching, why did you draw a rectangle thing? Just asking. Oh, that's where that other one is. Okay, I don't need comments anymore. I saw them. Yeah, thank goodness we have a 3D level now. I've been waiting for them. I always want 3D world levels because I like all the moves and they're fun to do. The Bem Bem is after me. That's what I call the moves. Bem Bems. Die! Yeah, I am the answer for murderer. Fear me. And if you want a secret one up, find the stream. Not that they really matter unless you find the level in endless mode. Hey, no, I killed him. Yeah. 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 Ah, oh, yes, the hardest part is the level. Just kidding, it's not that hard. It's your timing jumps, right? Entry for murderer, fear me! Fear me, you little things! Of apples. Yeah, I had never used the boost blocks before, so it had an exclamation mark on it, so I decided to just put it in here. It can kill you if you're not facing the right way. Whee! And that's the level. Yeah. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Just kidding, it's not over yet. You thought it was over? How dare you think I'd end a video this quick? All my videos are like 12 hours long. I'm not kidding. I'm sorry, Scary Timer. You were so close, but you just didn't make it to three. So it looks like we're doing the Piranha Creeper Tower. And that's the last one. So world record is 45 seconds. Wow. I'm not sure if that's super quick, but remembering the level, it seems like it would be, but he is a three star. He's a gold star, three star, yeah. He's got three likes exactly, so just barely made it on this list. And 41 plays, the level code is course ID, it's right up there. I just call it level code, it just sounds better, I guess. But, yeah. Yeah, Super Mario 3D World. I only had two of those in this entire thing. Mirror right back to back, too. Hang on, yeah. ah! Smack your face. Smack it. I failed the level. Oh no, never mind. That's good. <laughs> now we have reached the Tower of Piranha Creepers. Die! Oh, and if you want to know something about Piranha Creepers, is that they die quicker if you drown on them. They lose more of their length quicker if you. Like, they lose a lot of their length if you drown on them. They use. They use. They, they lose. Lose their lengths more than normal junk would get rid of them. Dang it. Okay, I'll let you live. This time. Or else this hammer going in your face if you kill me. I don't see how you do that. Okay, I'm gonna kill the pink guy first because that one guy hurt me. It hurt my self esteem. Go, go, go! Mistake! Mistakes happen, but I still need it, so I'm on Crates! Yeah, that's a new thing. That's in the new game mode. Yeah, crates. You can smash them and pick them up and throw them. And Builder Mario is super OP since you can also build crates and make super high towers. And yeah, whenever I put Builder Mario, he can like break almost anything under the ground. So he's a super good power up. And yeah, does this lead to the end? No, it doesn't. But we can cheese the level and skip the boss fight right now with our Builder Mario. Because see, you can break the ice. 
Dang it, I gave you the cheese. Hopefully you don't know how to create boxes. Dang it, I told you how to create boxes. Well, now you know how to cheese the level. Sad. But if you want to beat it the fair way, you can beat the Meowser fight. Yeah. Hey, Meowser. We can all just agree that you can just die right now because I'm going to kill you eventually because I can also cheat up in the maker mode and yeah, all that stuff. Anyways, I'm beating Meowser, so continuing on, I think this is the end. Oh yeah, I got top of the flame, so let's go. Okay. Anyways, there's the course ID again, if you need it. And anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just kidding, if you already left the video, I'm sorry, because we got a bonus coming up. We're gonna do some multiplayer buses, and then I'll end the video. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Super Mario Maker 2, I'm sure this song is embedded in your head. That sounded weird. But, yeah, I'm sure everybody knows this song if they played Super Mario Maker 2, multiplayer versus or multiplayer co-op. Okay, we got Wind Waker and Nano27805, Jaden Fun, I think. Complex, standard, short, and sweet. I feel like I'm toad at all the time. <gasps> 3D World theme. Yes, it's always awesome when one of those comes out. Hopefully it's a um, a good level, and there's no point in doing this if it's a super short level. Ah, forehead hurts. We all know me. No time to think of that. Oh man, this level's so hard. I'm gonna give up. Just kidding. Why would I do that? Wait. Oh my goodness, is a Meowser. I smacked him and created a... Hey, you're welcome, Toad. No, it was the end. Oh, how did I just need that? What happened to Mario and Toad? Uh, oh, there's a cliff there. Well, at least I beat that. It was pretty short, but hey, I beat my, a multiplayer verse, my first multiplayer versus on this channel. So, hey, it all works out. I always, I wish they let you mail levels in the normal mode, like if you're just going through courses, I wish they you met one, because I always met, even if it's super bad and I want to boo it, I'm just going to let everybody else boo it, because I don't like booing people's levels, and yeah, I don't know why, I just don't like it, <laughs> okay, can I see my points now, uh, I want to get them points for them B-rate gamer, because I am one. Oh, yeah. Why are you doing this to me, Nintendo? Anyways, while we wait for this to lo oh, it loaded! Hooray! Oh, I'm sorry, Inano270. Oh yeah, it was Jaden Fun. One. You were so close to becoming a B, and he was the only one that wasn't a B here. And he actually made it to the flag full second, so I'm sorry, Inano. But your day was not today. If you hadn't played the level against me, then you might have been saved. But alas, me, the awesome B rank gamer I am. Yeah. I don't know if that term is only used by some YouTubers. But anyways, I've got a B rank in multiplayer versus if you didn't know. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so if you're wondering why my name is Evans U, it's because my channel name is Evans Endless World. Da 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 da. I don't know why I did that. But, anyways, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, I'm ending it now because I showed you all the levels that I wanted to show you. And if you want to play any of the levels for yourself, you can. And make sure to play Ground Pound all day since it's one of those cool levels you find on YouTube where you like ground pound and all this crazy stuff happens around you and all that stuff and yeah anyways I hope you guys all enjoyed the video 
please hit that like button if you liked it and dislike it if you didn't like it. But I hope you liked it because if I'm not putting likable content on YouTube, my channel is going to suck and I don't want that to happen. So please like this video. And if you're already, and if you're watching my videos and you already haven't subscribed, then make sure to subscribe because all the support will very much help me and I'll appreciate it a lot. I finally didn't say it'll be very appreciative of me. And I just said it right now. Ugh. Anyways, um, yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I'll appreciate it a lot. Said it right again. And the reason I'm saying that about this, I'm very appreciative of it. It's because I've said I'm very appreciative of it in other videos. I've said that a lot. I don't know why. I just keep getting it messed up. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, yeah. I hope you all watch another one of my videos. And bye.